see a scimitar? I don't know what a scimitar is. Okay, it's a knife that curves like this. Yeah. It comes down, back up, like an old pirate sword. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the end of it, it, it kind of, like a cutlass. It goes here, it goes down, up, comes in, back up. So it's almost like a V at the top. And, it, it, and it's, the blame must have been about that big. He hit that guy's neck. First shot, man. And I was like, man, I never seen in my life blood shoot like that. I swear, the blood shot, it had to be 25 feet straight. And then it kept going smaller and smaller. And then until the head rolled over, they took the body, flipped it upside down, chest up, took the head, stuck it right there, moved him aside. Then they brought the guy out with the hand. And the good thing about him is they did have medical people. They were, because he was only losing his hand. They cut his hand. They cut his hand off. I saw the hand go. And then the medical people came in, cauterized it. He walked away with no hand. And. I was like, damn, that's justice. Like, no wonder why they don't have any crime over there, very little. You see that? As grotesque as that is. So what was the little kid doing there? He was the son of the, the executioner. And evidently, one day he aspires to be like his dad. Yeah. So it's like, son, if you do everything right, follow in my footsteps, you'll soon be able to do it. Because it's like an honor to be the executioner, evidently. Mm -hmm. It's like a very high praise position, right? Yeah. Like, oh, we love these executioners. Yeah, what do you want to what do you want to do? One is they don't want to be an executioner. Oh, that's great. You know, but that's 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 what his That's what I got out of the guy. That's his son, and you know, he wanted to emulate his dad and I'm like, I, I ain't sure I, I like that. That's what's kind of funny about in America. You know, I look at things differently, man, now, and I'm, I'm like, I would never want to live <laughs> anywhere, anywhere else, man. Because at least here you get a trial. Man, they, man, they're so corrupt over there. A trial is really not a trial. They already know what's going on. And these guys that they killed were not Saudis. They were, uh, look, um, Pakistani, mm. or maybe Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan, Indian, Pakistani. Because that's who does all the work over there. That, they, they don't do any construction themselves. They they hire companies that hire these people from Pakistan and all these other third world nations to come over there and do all the work, build all the buildings, do do all the infrastructure and everything. Saudis don't work. They don't work day in their life, man. They're like the Qataris. They don't do. They don't work either. They hire people to come. They hire people to come on over and build their buildings. They got the World Cup coming to Qatar in 2022. Mm. They're building. They started building the stadiums. I left there, and I finished up my contract 2012. And they had started building their buildings in 2012. All the soccer stadiums for the World Cup in 2022. So it's about, and they don't do it on their own. They yeah, have, I remember hearing a lot of people have already died building the, the dude, one They don't have any kind of like safety stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, like harnesses. Yeah. Okay, let's not say they don't have them. They got them. They don't utilize them. Right. And people die. So what was your, what was your reaction at the time while you were there seeing the, the blood spurt? Was that like it, it, it was, awe it, it, or horror or? Um, just it was kind of surprise. Okay, I thought of a couple things. Okay, I, I've, I've got a biology degree. Okay. Okay. I didn't at that point, but I knew I wanted to major in it. When and when, and when I went to the Air Force, I went to school at night, and I saw that man. One, I was amazed at how far blood can shoot. Yeah. Out of that artery. Um. Two. I began to be a little bit, a little bit, um, what's the word? Jealous that they snuff out their issues and it's done. And in this country, we don't do that, you know? Um, and I began to think to myself, that 
I don't care what how hard of a criminal you are, that will deter you. I, I don't care how badass you think you are, when you see that, it just, it, it, it's just like, you know, I've seen vehicles blown up with people in them when I was in, in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. People, you know, friends. You know, you think you see everything. You saw 9-11, right? There ain't nothing in my brain I'll ever top that stuff. But I was thinking to myself, man, what if they had something like that in America? How, what kind of deterrent it would be? What well, we do, it's called a death penalty, but we never use it. Well, but, I mean, people will still get life in prison for possessing and I don't too like much that marijuana. Either. That's kind of a deterrent. Yeah, I don't like anybody getting arrested for marijuana. It's bullshit. It, it is. It ruins people's lives for you know. Now, if you're out there, cocaine, okay, I, yeah, yeah. but marijuana. But see over there, one little marijuana cigarette they'll kill you for. Yeah, I mean that sounds like they're the criminals to me. It's kind of brutal. It's kind of brutal, right? Just a little bit. And, and I'm thinking to myself, did the guy even get a fair trial? I mean, did he really, how much, because I didn't know the whole inside story. Man. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know how much dope did he have. Did he have like a pill? <laughs> One little, you know, they don't tell you any of that. And, and I'm like, you're kind of like a catch point. like, man, I can see why they do it. Because there ain't no prisons in Saudi Arabia. That's the craziest thing. Well, the whole country is a little bit of a prison. The whole damn place is a prison. When you see women walking around with, with leashes on, that's like one of the most craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, man, the women in America, they thank God every day they're living here. <laughs> because the, that, ain't, that ain't an alternative, man. But see, that's to what they're taught though, right? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not lying, man. I was in Qatar and I was down at the, um, there's a mall in Doha called the Villaggio. Uh -huh. And it's a big mall. It's got an indoor ice skating ring. It's really light and really nice, right? And But next, ne right in around the corner from it, there's a grocery store. And so we went into the grocery store to grab, they had this iced tea over there. It was really good. And I said, let's go get one of those, the big bottle for like 50 cents, man. It, it, it was dirt cheap. Uh-oh. Um... And so we went over there, and then there was this uh, Arab guy shopping with his shopping with his wife. And evidently, man, evidently they had like twenty old dude. He bad because I cut him off, and he still had fifteen feet behind me. <laughs> they had uh, like twenty bags of groceries, right? And the crazy thing is, they have one of these. Um, Chevy Suburbans. Mm -hmm. They all have Chevy Suburbans or Ford Expeditions, and they're all white because white doesn't absorb the heat from the sun yeah. as much. So they all buy white cars. And I saw the the son of well, the sons. The oldest son always sits like with the dad. Then there's another row of seats behind them. That's where the other boys sit. Then the third row is where the girls sit. Any daughters? And then I swear as I'm sitting here, man, they loaded all the groceries in the car, like most of them, and they shoved mama in the back tailgate where the spare tire's at, and the groceries. She sat up in there, and then he put all kinds of groceries on top of her, and he shut the door. And I'm like, what? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. All I saw was, when you look at the back window of that, of that, of that SUV, you saw this, because she was in her thing. Two little eyes peeking out, man. They stuffed her in the back with the spare tire, bro. That was savage, man. Poor lady. She she she's like she was like it, it, she couldn't have had good circulation sitting back there. But I see I seen it more than once. And um, I remember being in being down there in uh, Riyadh, and I was at the, um, one of their they call it um. Souk. You ever heard of that term? Souk is like a shopping area, but it's not like a store. It's like an alley. They have gold, that gold, and you know, things you can buy, and crafts and stuff like that. So you go to the souk. Well, we're walking out of souk, and I see this guy with the with the um, leash around the lady's the lady's arm, 
and evidently she stopped for a second. He had to pull. This dude walks back there. He pulls this thing out of his pocket, and it looked like a black billy club, but it had like these whips coming off of it with little balls on the end of it. The, you know, like, and it moves. He was whacking her on the back of her thigh, like wham, wham. And they told us, hey, you see anything like that? It's none of your business, just move on. <laughs> but, but yeah, man, and I'm thinking to myself, American woman would have shot put a bullet in you, bud. You don't do that to an American woman, you be swallowing a 38. <laughs> it's crazy. That's just one of those, one of those things, man, like their culture, like I had some dudes working for me in guitar, and um, I walked through the shops, and you know arc welding, you have a welding rod, that shit will blind you, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're in the shop welding, man, and I'm looking, they don't even have the helmet on it. They, they took that little lens out of the helmet, and he's holding it like this, just a square little lens like this, and welding. He said the helmet was too tight on his head. It was too hot. But the helmet protects your whole face from the the rays. Yeah. He had like nothing but a square around his eyes, man. From where he had sunburn, like here, from where the arc was burning, and the lens was covering his eyes, so he had a square around his eyes. They just not they're just not safety conscious, right? Because they, these guys were from. Um, they weren't Saudis. I mean, they were from Pakistan. And they're just, they're just not the same. They don't have OSH over there or anything like that. And, um, yeah, I had one get his finger caught in a drill press, and a piece of metal in a drill press, and his finger got cut off. I had to poke his finger out of the piece of metal. It, 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 it started turning on itself, the metal, almost like a um, cork's like turning, like a, a, a clock spring finger we had to poke it out with a pencil put it in a glass of ice water take him to the hospital to get his fingers sewn back on just just call them walking safety hazards no matter what you buy on oh man for like doing something safe they don't want to they don't want to use it safety glasses they'll be over there grinding with no glasses not something you read in a book it's not something that I heard it's something that I I actually experienced man and I tell people I'm like man I thank God every day that we live here because I've seen the alternatives 